Okay, here's another map uh, by Dad. One, two, three, four, five, seven with Terminator 2, um, a movie that scared me as a kid, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but a really good movie, watching it as an adult. <laughs> um, yeah, so this It holds map, up, it holds up, I think. Yes, <laughs> yes it does. Uh, I think it does, personally. Um, but this map has a lot of uh, uh, mods, which I think, personally, I'm just on the PS4. I think this was really cool and a lot of fun to play through um so we're going to be seeing a lot of that um learning pretty much just how you how you built this thing i love this intro screen here yeah so uh i built this map with uh martin heckle dr heckle he's uh predominantly on xbox but he does uh have a ps4 and uh, it was a collaboration map and i guess the the reason we uh, started working together is uh, we both love this movie and uh, he also builds amazing items like structures and uh, you know yes. just, just things that with messing around with uh, with generic shapes and so on he can create something that's like super cool like this title for example is all generic shapes except for the judgment day obviously but where it says part one and yeah. where it says terminator that's just lots of blocks all joined together yeah very good Way to go, um, Dr. Heckle. <laughs> Call him Dr. Heckle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, this is so slow motion. You guys slow really motion want... slide effect. So we are on. Uh, you can do this in any map. Uh, is this a hospital mod. fence? Yeah. The yeah. Whatever. There's a variety of fences. I think it's the gate. Oh um, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. We used. Yeah, but we just wanted to create that first. Uh, scene of Terminator where all the playgrounds on fire. Right. And the good thing about this, the music matches. The music is uh, Blood Dragon music. Uh, so that Terminator guy, he's um, he's a lot of generic shapes that Martin put together. And again, yeah. that's all off mods. You can't uh, you can't build that without mods. So what yeah. that means is we downloaded a uh, map by Steve Botter, who uh, who made a is on PC and used can manipulate them, the items somehow to create mods. Mm -hmm. So it was like uh, a texture. He uploaded. Was it a texture mod, was, or was there other stuff as well? It was texture as well as um, heads and teeth and arms and like oh bits wow, of items all broken up. Yeah, I think there's about probably thirty different items in that one Terminator. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. I I understand why you had to break it up into three parts then definitely just to help with the budget. Yeah, the original was one part. That's what we were going to do, and then it just got way too out of hand. Yeah, I I can't imagine you you can't do this justice without having to break it out like that. Yeah. I yeah, remember and this. Of course, as you said, budget. You're right. I remember this from the movies. Yep. So we just followed the movie with this map. Um, all the I no, there's no uh, mods in this little bit here. Mm -hmm. It's all just the shapes and things that you'll find. In it was the fog. Assets. Was the fog already set up uh, when the player spawned in like this, or was it scripted to look like this? No, it was it was there. Okay. So. Yep. No, it was foggy in that little room. You just couldn't tell because it was so smoky. I see. I see. Very cool. Yep. So uh, this map's built in about five different sections, and that was the challenge. The area we're in now is super elevated. So when you look to the right and left, you can't see oh. buildings. Yeah, I I've done that um, before, especially when I know I have to teleport the player should be no problem with them seeing that they're like really high up yeah that's right yeah this is great I'm just right running here. back I, I came into this map without a gun so <laughs> 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 i don't want to die i got you. um yeah and this little guy in the this was a bit of a homage just here with the skeleton in the car just behind you um oh yeah like which is like straight out of the movie yeah 
Yeah, very good. And okay, so I'm noticing a lot of generic shapes, but also like um, I think this is like a winter destroyed concrete building or something like that, a ruin. Yeah, a ruin. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of mixture of yeah different assets here from different yeah. games. Uh, these um, they, all that bent metal. That yeah, I was just about right. to talk about this. What the hell? This is incredible. Okay, it looks incredible. It's just a generic asset. It's the Joseph statue, just turned sideways, twisted around. Uh, There's about four, <laughs> four statues there. <laughs> uh, wow. I was like, yeah, yeah, are these generic shapes? How do they do this? Yeah, okay. So I'm glad we're interviewing you. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> we're uh, we're ruining the magician's trick, if you will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I guess that's the key. Use assets that are already there. Like we could have built that with old certain certain generic shapes, but it would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have taken forever. Um, and as I said to you, um, like previously, like you bamboozle the player's mind by putting a lot of stuff into a scene. Yeah. Um, and then it becomes real to them, uh, like real life. It, just where we're sitting now, like in our lounge rooms, there's so much stuff. It's not just a chair and a, and a floor and a roof and a right. line. That's true. Um, yeah. And that yeah. Uh, hunter killer here, that's just here. Yeah, this was, I, uh, I had to put my gun yeah, away. Yeah, Martin, so Martin built that. Oh, yeah. did he? Great. And do you, did you guys copy yeah. this a few times to other maps as well? Did you have, how did you, um, did no, you he do built that? that from scratch each time. Each time? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So once he's built it once in this map, he can use it again, but yeah. Yeah. He just builds, it. you can't each transfer time. it across unless you're on PC. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. I remember doing, um, having to build R2-D2 several times for my Star Wars maps. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, that, and that was like, I was like, come on. I know. If I could only cut and paste, it would make my life so much easier. Right. Right. Or you'd have to. St I suppose you could have started the map from the beginning again, um, like just use that old map and then delete That's everything true. around it. That's true. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sometimes you don't really think what you want until you want it. <laughs> true. Good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is cool. So I don't. So something off the top of my head here. So you used an enemy and a flare to kind of tell the player where to go, which was good. That's right. Yeah. AI sometimes guides players helps oh where do i go oh there's ai over here go over there yeah i think that's a uh, uh something to know for life as well if you're encountering enemies you're in the right direction yeah for sure <laughs> uh yeah again this is just uh all those concrete shapes again i think some bridge just all like a bridge uh... bridge parts in here yeah. yeah yeah i like the um i don't know what you call these like silo beams or something yeah, they're just, uh, I just search beam. I think yeah. they're bridge beams. Bridge beams, um, yeah. They're, yeah, they're really useful. I've used those a lot. Yeah, you you get stuck on certain shapes. Oh, wow. Um, so so we, again, the vantage point. We scripted the player this something when you come at. up. Oh, what did you script? Shoe. Oh, yeah. But this is just something no. to look at. I don't even want to engage the players yet, or the, the AI. Wow. Yeah, so again, Martin built the flying hunter killer. Okay. Um, but again, yeah, this is uh, all these shapes. There's no generic shapes here. It's things turned sideways or bridge parts. Oh, yeah, I see. This ruin here is stacked, three stacked on top of each other. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Very good. And then, of course, you had, to, you had to place I other think stuff. It's so turned sideways, too. Okay. Yeah, you hide it all with. I think terrain is super important. Like, a lot of this is terrain and all those rocks all over the ground with the sticks. That's. Um, is that the sulfur, sulfur ponds? ponds. Right. Yeah. Yeah, very and good. It, it does. That helps save yeah, time Zach. when you're trying to make stuff look destroyed and. Um... Yeah. So I'm just going to um, so, And the other thing, way? too, with ground is. Oh, sorry. I don't know where you are. Right, so Come up to the fence. No, up here. Yeah, so yeah. here's a little confusing. And I know you, you can jump the fence where you were, but uh, there's a tiny little hole here. Oh, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. one of those areas where maybe we should have put an arrow or a flare or something. That's okay. We still found it. Oh, there's Terminators. 
of scripting some more. Yep, more scripting. In the sci-fi uh, audio. Those... Yeah, so the audio you heard there was a mod. That oh. laser sound. Yeah. It's a mod. So that's not from the sci-fi um, pack, The music at the start of... No. And the music uh, at the... Well, here is um, Blood Dragon again, but uh, at the yeah. start... There were, there were two modded musics that uh, yeah. you can't get on the normal one. So to build those maps, as I said, you just, uh, that's why it says map swapper as the first creator of this map. For the mods. Because, there. yeah, they're the mods. And you just uh, download the map like, like any other map you would from, if you wanted to have a close look how someone did it. And then you just delete the mods you don't want and you build the map as normal. It's, there's no trick to it. Like I, this mm -hmm. was the first map that Martin and I had both used mods and we were like worried about that we wouldn't have the technical skills to be able to do it. Uh, but once but you get into it, it's exactly the same as building a normal map. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I took a look at the, at the mods. I didn't have like an idea for any kind of map at the time, but I got to say, I kind of was like overwhelmed. Um, like, did you guys look through these, through the mods and then say, oh, we could do Terminator based on what these mods allow, or was it the other way around? Uh, no, we we downloaded a couple of mod maps to have a look and see what was there. I see. Okay. Cool. So there's more than one. Um, and there's one that kept crashing our system. Both of us, it would just crash every time you tried to do stuff in it. So you yeah. know, they're not all always perfect. Okay. So yeah, I had a few the mods. And more music map. This one. Oh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, I really like that feature. The audio uh, yes. is, is a big part of a player's experience. So good job with the music and the um, the sound effects. Yeah, I guess the whole environmental for me is a big thing. And like gonna... fiddling with uh, these are mods in front of you. Yeah. yeah. I see the teeth. Oh, and a teleport. This is my favorite part of the movie. Okay, so you'll notice here. <laughs> Yeah, you notice your weapon, your weapon changed. You, can, yeah. you can't use the laser gun anymore. So that's a mod. Awesome. Uh, it forces you to use, you can reload, do new loadouts. Um, so it would have been ridiculous coming into this area with laser guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish that was part of the actual game. Um, so this area here, so we are just below where we just were. And we oh, increased yeah. the fog intensity to hide... So it's straight over the top of um, the building. Uh huh. So there's a big hill up there, which you can't see. Yeah, I can't really see it, no. And uh, yeah, and we just put a few generic shapes around to make it look like buildings around yeah. you to hide it. Nice, very good. Uh, yeah, very good job. All right, here we go. So Nick and so again, custom to a bar. music. Yeah, I love the custom music here because it's it's perfect for the Terminator scene. Yeah, hundred percent. And you guys definitely took the time to build custom stuff like the pool tables, because um, that yeah, you know and it's... all those balls are light globes. <laughs> oh, are they really? Yeah, just buried into the into the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, because they have they have uh, they don't think they have spheres that small. No. So globes, I have, okay, well now I know, I wish you told me this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we also use those for door handles. You know oh, how the generic okay. doors don't have um, Yeah, don't they have don't have handles any handles. It's all weird. of them except one. Yeah, yeah, so if you stick those on there, it's yeah. a perfect door handle. Good, good tip, great tip. Okay, here we go. Slowly dying here. <laughs> Slowly, slowly getting through yeah. it. Yeah, so Martin created that as well. Yeah, he he, he had a whole series with um, arcade games and constructing like old, uh, I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, this is He cool. made, yeah, an arcade map with old movie things. And yeah. So again, uh, little details. So the bottles of beer just left on top of the urinal there. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's just 
they're the things I think that make the map yeah more realistic and pop pop more for the player. Yeah, and plus there's like stain decals, which is nice. Yep. Um, okay, uh, so, so yeah, I see here we used with the waypoint. Yep, scripted a waypoint, which was inside the toilet there. <laughs> Passed okay. through there. Yeah. <laughs> um, no better. Yeah, to it. force you back out, and we scripted the bike to appear. Okay, cool. Bummer they don't and the have arrows to appear. Yeah, can two players yeah. ride yeah, this? Yeah, so Martin built all those. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then you scripted the arrows. Are you on? I, can't, I don't know if I can see. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Okay. Um, cool. And then, um, okay, and then teleporting. Great. This was uh, yeah. another great part of the movie I really liked, and I thought you guys did a good job um, giving that experience. It was, uh, yeah, this was a massive build. This reminded me, I can't Even, remember whose map it was. I think it was like the, the it was another movie map with zombies. Um, yeah, oh, it's that killing was me. Day, uh, Old Farts 1969. Yeah. Uh, what was the, David the, Owen. What was the movie? Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you, uh, it almost looks like a copy, but did you guys just take a lot of inspiration from that or anything from that? No, it didn't use that. Again, I went online, as I said, to uh, find images of shopping centers from the yeah. 1980s. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and just sort of copied that generic style. Yeah. The escalators were super hard to build. Um, oh, lots of yeah. Curves, especially the ends of them. And it's still not quite to scale because when you stand next to it, it's really right. Right. Nice. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a single player, you don't notice that, but in co-op, yeah, you definitely yeah, notice yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't, I don't blame you though. It looks, it looks, it still looks great. Yeah, yeah, but going back to Old Fart, nineteen sixty-nine. He, he, one of his maps, one of his early maps, Inception. I don't know if you've played it. Um, but it's based on the movie Inception. He sort of inspired no, me. To, I didn't know that. Um, I didn't yeah, know there was an Inception map. That's awesome. Yeah, have a look at it. It's really cool. So he inspired me to build these sort of homage maps. I went, wow, that's a good idea. You can do that. Yeah. What a great thing. Um, how did you like at some point be like this? There's we we can't find any more signs to put. <laughs> I, I feel like when I'm making cities oh, yeah. and stuff like that, it's like, what other signs can I put that are interesting to look at? This is great. I love the scene um, from the movie where he's kind of yep. running from the guy. Yeah, and it's one of those scenes you just can't leave out. Yeah. And again, as I said, like Martin built every one of these he did? machines. It's just like, oh my God, this is amazing. Wow. Yeah, great job, Martin. Oh, and he created awesome. one thing that people probably didn't realize like here over here he created a mini game so oh it just spawns an enemy and uh, you can shoot him up yeah and it, but it goes for it just keeps going like if you you might die just be careful <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> yeah That's they just really keep cool. respawning but it's a, it's a neat idea yeah i'm i'm blown away that one you could guys could get away with all of this scripting and mods but as well put a mini game inside of your map like that's incredible and I guess that's the advantages with doing a co-op, building a co-op map, because you both have ideas, and uh, and you play off each other, and you discuss things, and you go, oh, what can we do here? And it sort of pushes you to the boundaries, I guess, of your limitations. You go, okay, I've just got to do, think of something here, because I, I want to keep this person happy, who I'm building with, and right. uh, so you're stepping up your game. Okay, so script. So is this nighttime or is this? Yeah, a... yeah. I couldn't get this area dark, even with um, reflection and light management volumes. So yeah. I have to go with that to get it that car parky looking. Yeah. Darkness. I yeah, I see what you're saying, but it still looks good. The, the yeah. thing I hate about the nighttime. Uh, or like any t daytime switch. I think it's like at the 19, like around 19 the hours, 19 uh, and 20 seconds, like the screen goes really bright. Yeah, for whatever totally reason. Totally agree. It's so, so, it's annoying. so annoying. Yeah. 
<laughs> this uh, is again, great. yeah, we used another waypoint. Yeah. Yep. Oh, this is a great scene. And perfect, they have a truck for this too. Yeah, you can you can drive yeah. through if you'd like. I know. Okay. Um. Yeah. So again, this was. We had to come up with an idea so you couldn't see the rest of the map. Uh huh. Uh, so that you can't see the big hill where the future scene was, and you can't see the bar, and you can't see the shopping center. Right. So that was, yeah, it was tricky to a degree to build everything on this. When you when you really get down to it, the area is not that big that you have to build in. Mm -hmm. And plus, you have to uh, like like right. the player has to drive a certain distance too. So it's really good job hiding all the other arenas that the players played through. Um, and we're about to approach the end here, but uh, you know, if the if the viewers of this of this channel really enjoy, <laughs> are you supposed to get out here? Yeah, you can't get through there. I see. Um, okay. And this is something that I don't think many people noticed, but um, when we go through here, uh, and it blow the truck blows up. Oh yeah. And if you turn around, if you turn around, then we uh, have the, the tire guy. coming out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did see that spawn um, as I was running in behind you. I saw it spawn in and and uh, oh, okay, yeah, and roll out. That was really <laughs> cool. Excellent job. I remember that from the movie. Dude, that's so um, great. Um, yeah, so that's all scripted fire, but we did put a barrel under the truck and ignite it to blow the truck up to give that real explosion of oh that. cool yeah very good yeah okay and then here's uh, so, the end of the game huh and here's the end yeah but i guess uh, a good tip for players with doing explosions is use barrels if you want explosions just hide them under the terrain and use a uh, a jet flame to mm -hmm. ignite it with a script rather than trying to use the explosion effect that's in that's in the yeah um, for one i don't think you get the sound. Has no sound yeah it has yeah, no, sound no sound and yeah um and plus i think uh it, i think it has like a very quiet sound but yeah plus it shakes the camera and all that stuff too if that's what the player wants um yeah. but anyways yeah we're, we're gonna conclude here um i think we might we might get together again and maybe discuss uh part uh two and three maybe in the future but thank you so much for letting me pick your brain and, and discover how, how you guys built this thing no thank you Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of Terminator by Dr. Heckle and Dad123457. I sure learned a lot, and we're going to be having more interviews coming up, so please subscribe and please like if you enjoyed this. Uh, but for now, have a great night.